Hello, dear listener, and welcome to Zealand. The world in which we are playing in will go to some dark places. The content of this series will therefore be violent and dark in nature, so if you find yourself easily offended or are rather squeamish, please do look away. Hey guys, gals, and legionnaires, Rykon here, and welcome back to Zealand. This is chapter 6, Life on the Rock, and uh, I imagine it's going to be pretty rocky on the rock. What do you, uh, what do you say, folks? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, at the end of the last session, as you know, we were taken captive by, well, a few thugs who belonged to a guy named Eddie, uh, who we became acquainted with, and Eddie is... Well, Eddie keeps some pretty interesting company. We've got a lot of Nazis here. Uh, so, fair warning. There are Nazis in the game. So those Nazis, they are going to be Nazi-like. I'm going to be bleeping out words here and there. So if you hear some bleeps, I don't know what those bleeps might be. It might be a goat screaming. Uh, it could be it could be Skulk going, Ugh! or something like that, if we could get a sound effect from him. Or that might be a little off-putting. <laughs> he doesn't seem too happy about that. Uh, but yeah, we're going to be bleeping those out, but we still need to be able to hear them as characters because we need to be able to react to them. And uh, while it's not nice, it's it's unfortunately one of those things, these people exist in the world and even after the end of the world, it would seem. But we're going to be doing our best to survive in this new place, doing our best to make it. Now, to, actually, when we were in between sessions, Jake made a really interesting point. This was the, the very first night that we managed to sleep and not have anyone on guard. It was the first time that we all slept together collectively as a group. Well, not all, not all of us. Um, some of us were in drug-induced sleeps. Well, most of us. Oh, yeah, we were. Yes, we were. And uh, I guess that's something, maybe. Some kind of light at the end of the tunnel. But we're all in a very bad state. Scott, you're still dealing with your broken ribs. Chloe has a broken leg and still. And broken nose still. And broken nose too, as well. But uh, I'm sure you're... I'm that's sure that's you're significant, nose. right? Yeah, it would have been significant. Yeah, so, so yeah, that that'll be back in place, but obviously still no, it's pretty not. swollen. Oh, it's not. You didn't you didn't do anything. He said anything oh, no. else, and I was like, no. Oh, okay, mm -hmm. okay. Well, yeah. Then he, he's still look, he's still looking a little sideways with that nose. And obviously, I have two effing broken arms, uh, broken in different places. One is cast in concrete. The other one is a proper cast. But uh, yeah, my arms aren't too great right now. I'm kind of like locked like this. I still have usable hands, but that's <laughs> that's about it. I just got You're little like pincers at the boy. moment. I'm like a weird crab person. So we'll see where this ends up taking us. We'll see if we can even survive a day on the rock because this obviously isn't the nicest place in the world. Uh, poor, uh, oh, his name's out my head now. Who Who is our Cliff? friend? Cliff. Yeah, poor Cliffy. Cliffy who ran away with his daughter and was recaptured. Uh, Cliff, unfortunately, I think like that's going to stick with me for a long time, the event of the last episode. And we definitely are still feeling those things waking up today. And today, yesterday was, J was Jake's birthday and today is my birthday, so it's not a great day to be w waking up on. We're now 15 days into the apocalypse. And with the start of a new fortnight, this is, uh, well, we'll see. We'll see if it's going to get any better from here. <laughs> I think not. But I'm going to be handing over to Skulk. Fill us in, my friend. What do you got for us today? Right, so a quick recap of The Rock. So, first off, these buildings here, that's where the, the plebs all live. So we've got, um, like, Boy Scout buildings here. We've got a little play center. And on this edge here, I parked some um, RVs and motorhomes. And the whole area is fenced off uh, with just some of those portable fences, as well as those bollards and things they use with, with construction to actually keep keep well it's to keep the undead out they say over here is, is the toilets which are barred um, and while like the boy scout building and the the play center will have their own toilets this is pretty much the main area for showering and all those sorts of things then this is one of the peaks um of pigeon mountain and this is the larger one here so this on top here is where eddie's big top marquee is um, over here on the more flatter one is where the Vex marquee is where you guys are waking up. Now, all of these trees have been crudely 
well, cho you know, chopped off and sawed off um, at the base, and they're all lying around here. Now, on their outside, it's the line of containers that you guys saw and that Cliff told you that Eddie brought along, and they're all around the edge of forming a little wall. And then the, the trees are all on like the inside of that. Otherwise, this is just an open field here, another open field there. This is the rugby, soccer. Yeah. The, 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 the sports field. That's where they were starting to try and work the ground. This is where you, yeah, you, right? saw, you saw some, um, some beginnings of, of, of some farm work here. Okay. On this open area here, nothing as of, as of yet. Okay. And if you're interested to see more, I am going to be posting some panoramic photos on the Rikon Roleplay's Facebook page. So link for that is in the description. Head there if you want to see what the view is like from Pigeon Mountain, because you can actually see a decent amount over the whole kind of Howick and uh, Highland Park area. So it's, it's a pretty decent place, even though obviously you can't really see shape on this that easily. Right, so you four in the, the vet, everyone but Jake, so when you woke up, Chloe and Nick assisted by some adrenaline. Um, it's still early, uh, early ish morning, and S Scott Triton, you didn't sleep that well last night. So you saw Susan come in, Cliff's daughter, uh, looking severely battered. Um, and of course, as you wake up, all of you, you find you, you see that Jake isn't there. So remember from the day before that you guys were sent to the vet, while well, Jake was kept behind with Eddie. Um, and you ha you guys haven't seen him since then. Now, Jake, when you you were just told to find a spot to sleep, and you were woken up by three three burly blokes, one of whom has very obvious Nazi tattoos all across his face and his neck. You were then led down to the area at here, with little um, where all the cars and well, the pe mostly just pickups are stored. You were given back your shotgun, and it's got two shells inside and one spare. And then you were told, you know, what would, you were, you know, implicitly told what would happen um, to these guys should you fuck up. And then you, you and one of the guys jumped on the, onto the back of the pickup with three duffel bags, one full, two empty. The guy who joined you on the back is the one with the obvious Nazi tattoos. And he's got a NZ military issue bullpup rifle. The two in the car, they just got handguns with them. And then you took off towards One Tree Hill, as Eddie said, to find out about this, this Leroy Brown, this rival of his. We'll get back to you in a bit, um, and your adventures you'll have, but first, with these guys who... It's <laughs> nice knowing you guys. <laughs> yeah, well, it's been great, Jake, and uh, yeah, don't, don't, don't screw up, our lives are depending on it. Yeah. Maybe, okay, like maybe this time when you're in a situation where you should fire the gun, maybe fire it this time. <laughs> Guilt. <laughs> <laughs> but don't fire it at them because if you do, then we're dead. Well, there yeah. are three of them. Oh, these are three them, shotgun shells. Three bullets. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. three bullets, well, three people. You know, yeah, we've never hit anything. So. Slide it out. No, I haven't hit anything. Well, you, you, no, you're the one who shot. Uh, remember, like the zombie you no, shot. No, I got shot. Yeah, but you shot the oh, body shot and the zombie. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. That doesn't count. You want to shoot next to it? It counts on like a person. Yeah. Okay, so everyone, Bud Jake, you wake up and or are woken up in the vet. I wouldn't do that though. And then you see this, there's only like a, <laughs> other, than a, other than Susan, there's only like a handful of people and they're still asleep um, on the cots, uh, the, the makeshift cots uh, that's in the marquee. When you're all, well, mostly awake, um, still a bit groggy from the drugs that um, the vet used to uh, make you sleep, not put you to sleep, but make you sleep. Uh, he does tell you that, you know, you are needed. You've, you've been summoned. Okay. Like to all of us? Yeah. Okay. Um, where are we going? He, the vet tells you, he doesn't know. He's just been, he's just been told that you're wanted um, outside. That's all, that's all he says. He just knows some guy poked his head, poked his head and just told, just told me you're, you guys are needed. Okay. All right, my man. I forgot he was a heavy. Thanks for the... <laughs> Does he does he go Stuff? walk out then to leave us to follow him afterwards or like? No no no. He just goes back to to, to you know his little desk and things and doing things, shuffling papers. Yeah, like yes. Making right. lines yeah. of Flip, something. Flipping things around. <laughs> um, I get up and I um, hobble along. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, I kind of like I guess in the cot that I'm at, I kind of like lean over towards where Scott is and I say, 
Did you see Jake come in last night? No, I didn't. Just, yeah. He didn't, I only saw her, her come and I point to um, where... Um, Susan? Uh, yeah, where she was uh, sleeping. Is she still sleeping at the moment? Sorry, or is she... She, she appears to be sleeping. Okay. Mm. Okay. Biting our tongues, eh? All right. I'm ready. How are you guys feeling? Because we saw them actually get jabbed with adrenaline, right? Um, I'm guessing. I, I, yeah, yeah. yeah, I'm saying. I know Chloe was last. Yeah. yeah. Um, I lean on my crutch and do like a thumbs up with the <laughs> with the crutch under it. Okay. No, I need a favor. Just when we get outside. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Wait, wait, no, All right. <laughs> say no more. Say no more. Say no more. All right. So you guys do go outside. Yeah. As soon as we get outside and away from the dock, I say, Nick. Yes. I need you to place my my nose. It's still broken. Oh, okay. You could have gotten the doctor to do that, man. He's he's afraid that he's just gonna stab him with something. <laughs> <laughs> after after like what happened with you guys, just say you don't want the, the morphine. Oh, uh, they didn't give you much option. No. You could have tried. Oh. It's not bad, man. Unfortunately, we didn't take time travel as a speciality, so we'll no, just have to I'm saying that in game. I'm saying, like, man, you should have just got him yeah. to do it. I don't know what I'm doing, bro. Yeah. What? The... I'm not a real doctor. We just we just said that. Yeah, Scott, <laughs> that was a lie that we told a woman. I Look, I can understand why he doesn't want to do it. Yes, I can. Mm-hmm. And honestly, I think we should be careful. It seems what... I, can I see? Is there any hustle or bustle around us? Not currently? around the tin itself, but you do okay. see, like, because you're you're on this peak here, so it's not the biggest of area. Okay. Uh, so you do see, like, there are, there are people walking about around. Like, uh, this is the only marquee on this on, on this, this peak. This the rest okay. are just like one man tents, two man yeah. tents. So I, you do see people climbing out of tents, uh, walking around. You know, some people just pissing where they they, yeah. they can find, ha- you know, lighting up a smoke. I try to continue what I was right. saying, which was, I think. Look, if we can stay away from whatever they're giving the longest possible, that's yeah. good. Because people are getting hooked on shit here. This is how they're getting people to do work for them. Yeah. Or at least keeping them here. We okay. can't afford to get addicted. What's, what's the worst can ha- that can happen? I'll turn to Owen Wilson. Wow! wow. <laughs> <laughs> that's so good. Okay, anyway. <laughs> you want to you wanna have a go with it? I'll give it a go. Right. I, I brace for pain. Right, fine craft. Okay, oh. fine. <laughs> fine. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Best, best best he's crafting this great plus, nose. I'll give you plus 20, it's just a nose. Well, I think oh my god. I mean, it's, yeah, there's a bonus because it's already finely crafted. Right? Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. Um, pass or fail? Even for plus... One off. What, one off from a, from a pass? <laughs> Is it an overextension? Uh, no, it's, it's just it's almost there. Yeah. Would it be more painful than normal? He, no, he, he wiggles it about. Oh! And you, that does hurt like hell as he tries to like set it, but he can't. So you're, oh. not, you're, not, you're no real worse off than you were before. Nick just can't seem to, you know. Find the magic spot. Yeah. <laughs> just hurt you, that's all. That's all. You just go. If only we knew. I imagine you probably. A professional who could do this. I imagine there'd probably be some bleeding from that as yeah, well, right? Yeah. Some capillaries that have oh, burst. Yeah, so you notice, know, yeah. Like, but my nose was already bleeding. Yeah, I mean, your whole lower half of your face already bleeding. <laughs> Uh, rave of blood anyway, so it's just fresh blood, but yeah, your, your nose is still broken, no worse off, no better off than before. Okay, the colour red triggers me for our wiggle, uh, wiggle. forgotten friend, our friend that left us to die. Mr. Red. No, Mr. Red. Mr. Red himself. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. I'm so disappointed. I got no issue with that, to be honest. Oh, I, yeah, I, I know. I, mean, I, I can... can't believe we didn't make any jokes about Mario and Luigi, Luigi? that whole time. I feel like all we kind of think of almost did. Almost. Yeah. You got some red on you. <laughs> right. And as, as Nick tries to say Triton's nose, you see a guy um, walk up. Um, he, he looks much like the race of these, these thugs, and as he walks, you, you see he is actually he's drinking a beer as, as he walks up. What kind of beer? It says a lot about the person. Yeah, lime yeah. red. <laughs> it's lime red, isn't it? No, it's no? Tui. Oh, yeah, right. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, and he, as, as he gets to you, he, he, he does finish it and just throws it on the ground. 
what time is it? It's a. Uh, you guys don't have watches on you. It's early morning. The sun has just risen. I don't like this, man. Um. He looks over you four and he goes, "Where's the girl?" Yes. The girl. Yeah, the girl. S sorry, which girl? Yes. I look towards Chloe. Yeah. yeah. Um. You who? Yeah, no, the, the girl, like, the girl, the girl, the girl, Eddie's girl. Sorry, you're going to have to fill us in. We all came together as a group. There was someone else that was with us, but no, wasn't the, the, with didn't us. Come, didn't come with you, oh, for fuck's sake. He walks in, to, like, to the tent, and he goes, you just hear him going, Oi, bitch! Uh -huh. And he goes, no, not you, her. Yeah, come on. And as, as he walks out, you see, you see Susan come up. And like the other three of you who didn't see how, how battered she was as she, as, as she, when she came in last night, you now see that her... Not only is her nose broken, but there's a few other things wrong with her I'm face as well. I'm not that nose. That's... Good idea. And as... So he just comes out, walks straight past you, you know, and you can see if you forget something, you're just like, come on! He says to you guys, Come on. Uh, I, I start to follow. All right, start walking. So do I. Yeah. As we're walking, I try oh, yeah. to yeah. fumble with my little notebook out of my pocket, and I just try and mark off another date. Yeah, that's, yeah it's just like a, it. just, just like a tick mark. <laughs> yeah. So you guys will follow him, and Susan's following you. And you walk to the, to the big, not the big top tent, but to properly Eddie's Rock, yeah. the peak here. Mm -hmm. And you get to a two-person tent there. And you see there's like, a, there's, there's like a couple of chairs that's been set out there. Well, actually just stools has been set out. And like a little, um, not a filing cabinet, but just a small set of drawers. And you can see it's open, there's things and tools and stuff. And you see little portable generators right next to it. Mm. And as you get close, you see all the stuff on there is tattooing equipment. Mm. And he just goes, to, he, he, he sits down, cracks open another beer, and like he, with one hand, with the other one, he just starts fiddling about with this, with this stuff. Mm. Um, do you guys say anything before he continues on with what he's wanting to do? What's happening here? You weren't told? We weren't we... told shit, man. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Well, you're getting marked. We guessed as much on that. Right, so don't ask stupid questions. He says as he like okay, takes but like with what, why, etc. And that's not healthy if you're going to be doing a tattooing, man. And he like looks around behind him. He goes, "I'm sorry, do I give a shit?" Well, if we get infected and die, surely that's on you, right? Guess we're getting on the He looks around again. He goes, do "You see anyone else who gives a shit?" I presume um, Eddie would. If you're right, he puts like the tattoo gun down here. Me and you, we'll go talk to Eddie right now about it, shall we? Come on. It'll he stands be fine. up, he goes, It'll come? be fine. Go yeah. on. Okay. All right. Oh, fuck. <laughs> this is on all of us, okay? If one of us fucks up, we will fuck He's up. walking, so, like, what? Come on. I'm go see Eddie. I'm sure he's not sleeping at the moment. Uh, fine, okay. I just, you know, hygiene is important. Not from the way you smell. He just goes and sits back down. I, I don't what say anything, but I give him quite a look. Uh, <laughs> the look. You bitch. <laughs> All right. He looks at Su uh, Susan's direction and goes, Girl, come here. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> I <just> like, real <laughs> hard. <laughs> For the audio audience, I bit down on my hung. My, my <laughs> hung. <laughs> my hung, because I did bite up my tongue. My tongue very hard to, 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 to simulate biting of tongues. And oh, but, was that for me? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but I wonder who else. Um, and Susan comes and obediently sits down in front of him. And you can see um, he lifts up her fringe. Oh, and from, the, from those of you who can see, like, you can see like on her left temple, there's like a crescent moon and two lines on there. Well, at least it isn't a dick or something. That's kind of yeah. cute, actually. I'm down for that. We're probably going to get dicks now. Mm. I hope you know. I don't yeah. say yeah. that. I just think like, okay. hey. That's kind of cute. And, you know, she always just starts turning her head. He turns everything on, and with one hand while he's drinking, he, like, he just, you can see he adds on, far, uh, he adds on four more lines. Next to the moon. Next to the, like, there's already two lines underneath the moon. Okay. He adds on four more. Okay. God, I hope it's not what I think it is. Yeah, I think, yeah. 
And then after, after he's done, he goes, yeah, fuck off, who's next? I'll go next. I'm right. Gonna oh, I, was gonna... I don't want to moon. <laughs> if you want to go first, yeah. by all means. Right. I'll go first. Sit down, once again, left temple, crescent moon, and then he does six lines. Is it like I'm filled in or just the outline? Just the outline. How big is it? Like that? Yeah, about an inch across. Okay. Right. Now, if he's done, he goes, right, fuck off, who's next? I go and sit down, plot myself down. Alright, the same thing happens this. unless anyone has any objections to, to this. All left hand side of the temple? Yeah, six all, lines? The, all the left hand side of t t the temple. Well, crescent moon and it's kinda cute, though. six lines oh. underneath it. It's a little moon, that's kind of cute. Like, like, that's almost close to something I would actually get. So, mm -hmm. I'm not that fussed with this. Okay, as he I'm guessing he didn't replace the needle. No, you can see oh, like the needles was it was a used why, needle yeah, before him. I went as soon as I could. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Son of a <laughs> <laughs> Shearing is caring, right? Yeah. But I said that was already a used needle before it got to I you. I know, yeah. but only by one, not like No, no, no. Before it got to Susan it was a used yeah, needle. Yeah, true. They probably never changed it. Yeah. God, we're, we're gonna die from this. Yeah. <laughs> this is not, how we not die. the zombies, just <laughs> infected needles. Infection. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Should we put that on our gear? One tattoo. If well, you can write it down if you want. I write down my scars and stuff just so I don't forget. Really? Oh, that's yeah. right. I've got to hold my. Because otherwise, you forget about the, the the little things after a month or so. That's true. Yeah. Okay. So that's why you need. Uh, no. After he's done with the last one of you. <laughs> what was that? No, don't worry. Stop myself. Anyway, sorry, Scott. <laughs> after after, after he, the with the last one, he's um, he says, "All right, Patrick. Patrick wants. Uh, yeah, he just says, right, Patrick wants you. Leave me alone.'" And he like Patrick. opens up. Like you can see, it was a six pack, and now he's reaching for a third one. And where can we find Patrick? Susan then like quietly oh, just great. says, "She just says just this way," and she leads you. Just a, it's, it, it's not very far. It's like maybe like good. 10, 15 meters, um, where you see a guy in, inside. It's, a, it's like a bit bigger, it's like a good four person tent. Although inside it looks like a little office as it's just been made. You see like some trestle tables, some folding chairs just been uh, set out. They've actually got filing cabinets in there for, for the guy. He's an older, older guy, going bold, big long beard. You know, he's got a bit of a beer belly on him. And then as, as you guys come in, he just looks at me and goes, All right, new recruits. Right. Bit of a sorry state you're in. Not great. Right, so what did Vid say? The fuck's wrong with you? Other well, than the obvious broken arms, broken leg. You two, what's wrong with you? He points to Triton and Nick. Nose and and we're just feeling sad. Nose and broken <laughs> ribs. Yeah. He grunts to himself, has a look, shuffles a few papers. And he goes, Oi, leg! Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Not fucking good, much you can do for us. Right, you're gonna go to the playpen. And he like, the playpen. Right. Playpen, okay. I thought he said playpen, which sounded a <laughs> lot so worse. Yes. Yeah. And he goes, There was playpen, right? Yeah. Playpen, okay. yeah. Okay, okay. He makes like a note on one of those papers and. And he goes, right, Susan will show you the way. And then Susan just quietly tells you, right, just follow me. Okay. And then she, you know, quietly leaves, just like outside the tent, just looks up behind you, waiting for you to follow. Oh, follow. yeah, yeah, um, I follow her. And you I follow. Can... You still got your crutch, do you? The I, one that I, I made with the pillow? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, of course. You get the feeling the playpen is not just a playpen. Yeah. Really? It's yeah. a it's a it's a ball pit like from McDonald's. Yes, yeah, just a big yeah. ball pit. They've got it set up. Yeah, oh, no, on my <laughs> Imagine if they did transport the um, playground from McDonald's down the road. They're up. <laughs> right. So you said like what? Broken ball. ribs. All right. Can you drive? Yeah. All right. Might have something for you next week, but now you look like you're gonna be rat catching. Right. Uh, There's some f fuckhead out there. Does it? You know. I'm, You'll see him when you know him. His name's Max. If you see him, just go talk to him. Right. You can lift things. Yeah. Looks nice. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <Yeah. laughs> yeah. mm. So that's all he can do apparently with that response. <laughs> yeah. Well, no book work for you then. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Go talk to Matt. He okay. does gardening. Yeah. So there's two yeah. minutes. Matt does gardening. Max. 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 Okay. Yeah. Max. Max and Matt. You, boy, what are we going to do with you? 
You well, don't eat. You don't work. You don't eat. You can come to the garden and be an ornament. I'll work. I still have hands. I can use those. Not easily. He but... gives you that look. <laughs> yeah. I know. I know. Well, I think the, I think the vet needs some help with paperwork. I'll send you to him. Good. I can help with that at the very least. Yeah. All right. What are you guys sitting around here for? Off you go. It's probably worth knowing that I've got uh, medical experience. See this nose? <laughs> 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 you do, do you? Right. Ginger Medic. <laughs> Ginger Medic. Yes. <laughs> That's the title I've been after. Yeah. This is what he writes down. And you can hear him say it as he writes down. Right. Go see Matt about the gardening. Okay. It's worth a shot. Okay. I get up and I give everyone a look and... Just a different one each? Yeah. Just a, a nod and... Okay, you get sad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah. These are your looks. Hold on to them. Surprise. Just constant surprise. All right, so you guys leave. Clearly no one's, been, no one's told you where to go other than the vet. You know where the vet is right yeah. on. Um, and I'm being led by Susan. Yeah, right? I'll, get, I'll, get, I'll get to you and sure. Sue. Um, so what, what do you guys want to do, you three? I look for like, a very yeah. characteristic person. And um, if I can't... like. Because apparently I'll know when I see him. He looks like a rat catch. Ooh. Yeah. Um, if I can't, I ask for, for someone for Max. Like, where's okay. Max to hang out? Right. Everyone who likes, when you ask, he goes, good fucking luck. <laughs> and like, they point you down here, near the container line, um, around here. And eventually you find Max, the drug addicted cannibal that you meet. Oh, um, I thought it might be the same. I, I, I had a feeling. Back yeah. over at um, Kayawa. Have fun, Scott. Oh. When, but, uh, if, do you ask I, around for I, Matt? I, I do. Oh, no. I ask for As I'm approaching, I'm like, Grab me! <laughs> <laughs> do you? Okay. Yes, I <laughs> ask for the gardener. Matt. All right. You get sent down at a similar place, not quite here, but like around this area. We see most okay. of the trees are. Right. Um, and you, you see like a burly 20 something, he looks younger than you are, absolutely like, he's, he's got prison tats all over him. Um, okay. And Chloe, you get lit all the way down here to where like between the containers a little fence, fancy gatey thing you went in through. Okay. You get walked out and you get walked all the way to here where the living area for the people are. It does take you, you know, quite a while with the crutch and everything. Out of God. game sirens. <laughs> and when you get, you get led to the play center and you can see there's, there are six kids ranging from about two to 10 years old. Oh, fuck. I'm and Sue just says, relieved. Wow. and Sue does just say, we just take care of. Oh, well, that's great. I mean, I didn't had a niece, that, so... Yeah, yeah good. I can do this. Right. I, I, but the thing yeah. is, I think we're still imagining... Like, yeah. I think in my mind, when I think playpen... I think mm. yeah. playpen. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I thought it was going to be like a sex oh. dungeon or something. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's just I take care of kids. No. Not like that. <laughs> you think that you're actually like, kind of disappointed? <laughs> yeah. Aww. <laughs> oh. I thought oh, I was getting laid. Fine. <laughs> yeah. Okay. okay. Cool. And as you do, you do see other people... Um, here like the, the you can see like the kids are just waking up and you see they've been there are no adults here like the kids have been given get, given sleeping bags or just places just to lie down and sleep and they just woken up without any adult supervision although as you do you know you, like, you know he walks and has been making a bit of noise people do start coming out of the buildings up here that the boy scout areas and from the rvs and you can say you can see they're all either teenagers or adults okay. uh mainly men about a good 70 30 split from being to women and you can see most of them, you know, they come out, make some of them have a smoke, other ones just like, you can see there's like a, um, an LBG bolt has been hooked up to like a portable hobs, you know, just have a bit of a, you know, they just cook a little something and most, and then your time there in like a good hour, you can see most of like the men, they just leave. And they, if, if you look through the fence of the RVs here or through the windows of the place, you can see they just walk up towards the rock and you presume off to work. Right. What you can see though is like, you know, with most of the men, their hair is cut short. You can see they've all got tattoos on their left temple. Okay. Varying shapes. Some have got stars, some crosses, some have got a circle. Oh. Um, you can see all, like, you can see all the, um, the children. They've also got tattoos on the left temple. 
And you can you can probably already guess. You can say, oh, there's a there's a bloke with a star on there and three lines. There's a kid there with a star on there and three lines. Maybe there's a connection. Okay, can I rick on something slightly? As Susan and me were walking down, oh, yeah. could I ask her what the tattoos mean? Well, you can ask her now. As any, either. Okay, well, yeah, anyway. sure. I mean, yeah, I, I actually, yeah, sure. I'll, I'll, I'll just um, ask her now, like... She what? tells you that, um, and you guys, you guys will find this out as well. Um, it's it shows who you're responsible for. If if anyone with with a tattoo does anything wrong, everyone else with the, t- with the tattoo gets hurt. It's horrifying. Wait, so like the lines, how many lines have I got? Six. Six. How many lines does she have? Six. 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 How many lines do they all get? Six. 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 Okay. Oh, lucky Jake just had a tattoo then, so they don't they, they don't know to link us to them. But what they do if someone like already had a tattoo there? Carve it out. Give it the match eight. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Probably, right? With the vet, since you're like you know, you walk to the vet, you you give him the good news right, that you're there to help. Yeah, I'm here to help. I'll do whatever I can. All right, he he looks at you. Obviously, yeah. you can say, "Well, you're not going to be much of a help physically." Um, I'm okay mentally. If that's right. what you're wondering. Deception check. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. He asks you, do you know what triage is? Yeah. Right. You sure? Yeah. Okay. I'll let you do that. Anyone comes in, you just see how bad they are, you tell me how bad they are. Okay. Okay. Next up, can you actually write or anything with those? I can. I'm going to have to be on an angle, but my right hand is still okay. Okay. Well, that's good because, and he lifts his hands and you can see, they're shaking like crazy. Okay. Not good at writing anymore. Okay. What about right. Uh, is there anything okay. else? Anything else? Um, right. What are you addicted to? Coffee. No, no. What are you addicted to? Nothing right now. Okay. Like I said, just coffee. Just, I just need to know. You know, just need to I'm give you something. I'm not going to take anything. All right. Cause if anything, I can keep a stock of what's around and what's going out and. No, How much? I, no, oh, mate, I don't give a shit. I just, need, just wanted to know if you needed something. Thanks, I appreciate right. that. How long have you been here for? He, like, stares into space. Outstate. What's today? It is the 10th of July today. It's been 15 days since... Well, I he, guess yeah. that night. His eyes just wide and goes, Wow, 15. Wow. How did Eddie find you? Or how did you find Eddie? As you, as you like looks in your eyes, you can get a good look. You, can, you can't see the iris. His like pupils are so dilated. Yeah. He was like... What day is today? I don't know what day of the week it is. I only know the date. What's the date? The 10th of July. Wow. <laughs> Right, um, just check if everyone there is alright. I've just got some paperwork to do. Sure, okay. Alright, at the gardening, I... Matt, just, it's a very, uh, he, he's a very straightforward guy. Mm. N- you know, no must, no fuss. Uh, one thing you guys, you, you three do see, as you walk past, you can see there's a, all the thugs. You can clearly tell who's the thugs and who aren't. They don't have any, t- any tattoos on them. So, the, uh, you can see the vet, however, does. And he's got a plus sign on his. Vest. So not a cross, it's a plus. Right? Well, yeah, so, so like a, a plus sign, and you can okay. s- and you can see two lines on there. Okay. Uh, none of the thugs I ever do. So like when you walk to Matt, he's he, he's got like two full sleeve tattoos and everything. Nothing. Um, and he's got um, four teardrops on his left hand side. Uh, he's on his cheek. He's very sad. He he's a very four times. Yeah, that's the only time he's cried in his life. That was Titanic, The Lion King, Bambi, Bambi, and um, Rush Hour Three. And Rush Hour Three. <laughs> That's the only times he ever cried. And he says, 
Or the disappointment of No Man's Sky. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, and his face, word for his face will just be... <laughs> It'll just be one giant tear on his face. His face will be a tear. And he just says, we move these trees. And he points over there. Okay. That's it. So, pick a tree. And move it. Move it. Okay. Yeah. And as you start, like, start playing, and you do see, like, you know, so it's, it's as you just start... Do we well, finding... Cold? Yeah, you, you, if you ask him, he goes, no. <laughs> and as you try and find, like, a tree you can lift or a branch, you, you do hear other people coming, and you see they, they're more morose looking than, like, the thugs. You can see they've all got tattoos on the, yeah, like, yeah, top yeah. left. And the, they don't really talk or anything, and they just, they all just start, you know, working, Doing. you know. You can see they already know each other well, you, you know, they just point to each other, just, you know, two, you know, so like three guys will just grab a log and they just start walking. Your gunshot wound will still be healing as well, so. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. push too hard. <laughs> so for the day, you'll just be, you know, like, so one like, will just like, point to you and just, or you say, you. a couple of stragglers and get yeah. them to help me lift things. Yeah, so the, least, you are escorted, like, the whole way. So as soon as you like leave here, you can see there's there'll be there's two guys with like two like, of the thugs of guns. Or just me. Um, well, the, like the, the the group. So okay. it's like as soon as someone could have like one or two so thugs. Like, prison latest stuff. Well, yeah, they'll like escort them because you can even like in a distance you can see like down here. Yeah. You can see like the undead. Remember up here is where they parked a few buses across. Yeah, yeah. So you can't see anything out there. Um, or in this little walkway here, it's also been covered over. But you can see like around here and through a little gap, you can see undead. So you presume it's well to shoot you and to shoot the undead. Yeah. So you walk all the job really is menial layer of like be the worst kind. Mm -hmm. Walk here, dump the trees, walk back, get a tree. Just be a be a brute. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That would take so long. Yeah. It's gonna make you strong. Yeah. Keep you strong. Strong. I'm gonna lose all this. Alright, Triton, problems. here you find what you didn't see before is another you see another gate. That's been like a fence. It's just a piece of fencing. You can see it's with some wire and duct tape's been made into like a swinging fence. And that's where you find Max. And you find him still, you can still hear like his whole body is just like shaking. You know, it's like. Common theme in this place. Yeah, for some, you know, you know what's inside him, but you know, like, he's, he's yeah, he just, he's, he's squatting down. You can see his legs just like shiver, completely like shivering his whole body. And like he looks up and he goes, just gives you a look and he's like. You got the worst job. No, second worst. I got the worst job. And you can see, like, he's, he's trying to, like, see where he, where, like, remember we've seen you before. He's like, just say hello. You want some? And you can see he pulls up what looks like a dried piece of jerky. No, thank you. You sure? Positive. Right. All right, Cliffy. He says as he takes a bite out of it. <laughs> right, Cliffy, let's go. You are now Cliffy. He walks out, you can see he's he's got his bullpup rifle before. He's also got like a big fishing net with him. And you can see what what looks like a lace curtain that's got like rocks tied all around the edge. And he like he throws it to you. And he goes, right. Let's get some food. And he leads you. You can see it's only you two. And he oh. closes door behind you. And you can already. S and you can slightly hear in the distance just like some sounds coming from undead that you can't see. And he he walks. He makes a straight beeline here toward these buildings. Yay! Into Victor territory. Right mm -hmm. now, Jake. <laughs> as you got in a truck a wee while ago. <coughs> The truck took off well, all the way down here. Main road will just... Do you want to talk at all to the guys? No. Right. He, he doesn't really talk much to you either. Um, what you see is like, it's not a lot of abandoned cars on the road. It's only, it's only once you hit the Pakaranga road that, you, that they have to start swerving in and out of traffic. What's the um, plaza look like? That's what I'm saying. So, all the way down here, it's... It didn't really look like a ruined city. I mean, it's only been two weeks. Mm. You know, so it's not like the, you know, like the grass is overgrown the entire thing. You can see like the grass is, you know, everywhere is fairly, fairly long. No one's been there to mow the lawns or anything. You can see 
a fair few windows have been broken broken in houses but at the moment it just looks it looks abandoned it just you know it looks like a very very rough part of a rough town that's all it just you know what's well, back around <laughs> there you go <laughs> Other than the fact that you can see un like you know you can see quite a lot of undid through doorways down streets you know and they all turn to you and start shamming you can't see any runners that's good um, well of the human variety okay. you know once you hit around here they like you do see a dog just run out of uh, out of a property and start chasing you just rips an arm, someone's arm off <laughs> <laughs> no it only has three legs. Um, you can see a, a big bloody wound where one leg was. You can see it's missing its jaw and one eye. Is it comical? Like how it's running? Um, well, <laughs> it's more... Pretty fast with I would say yeah. it's, still, it's fairly scary, actually. You can see, like, um, this, this half-dead dog doing its best. And, it, like, for a while it does catch up. How when you, fast are we going? I was saying, yeah, you go about like, a good 30, 40 k's, um, but, like, it gets to a point where they have to, like, slow down to swerve around traffic, and the dog, for a while, looks like he's going to catch up. But then you had an open Jeez. stretch and you leave again. All right. If, if, it, if it was going to get too close, I would have just, you know, aimed the gun at it. Yeah. No, but it didn't get close enough. Like, and you can see the guy, like the, the Nazi next to you, he doesn't seem to care very much. Uh, once you hit Pokeranga Plaza, you can see it, the main area here, has significant fire damage to it. Uh, you can see, like, most of the foundation is still standing, but you can see it's completely blackened. Uh, Similar as when you when you uh, when you drive past St. Kent's. As you get to the the bridge here, you can see it's been the cars have been moved there. Uh, there's a lot of cars. There's a lot of cars on there, but there is space enough for one car to move here. So, so you can see someone, presumably the guys you're with, mm. must have moved the cars out of the way. So there's a single lane of traffic can go. Are the lights still on? Like the um. Traffic lights? Yeah, traffic lights and, and the light on the bridge, and obviously not the the uh, street lights. Because it's you left it dark, right, or just before? Uh, you left oh, at dawn. I mean, even without that, I mean, you yeah. just watch. You just got the street lights. More sensitive well, power is still on. Uh, for this area, yes, you can see like like someone like the odd street light didn't work, but you can see like this. Even if you drove past, it's daylight, but you can still see some lights on in some houses. Yeah. Um, and once you cross the bridge, you can see that something happened to this, you know, like the motorway bridge. Mm -hmm. And there's a big gap in the middle. And like, you know, you can see underneath it, as it's, you know, it's a bit low tide now, you can see a lot of rubble, you can see quite a few cars and, and trucks and things just collapsed there. Are there anything stuck in the sand there? Like zombies? If it's quite, it like quite low tide or like really low tide? It's really, you? really low tide. Yeah. You can see a, a, a few corpses around, but nothing moving right. around there. That is literally the only bridge going in and mm. out of Howick yeah. then. And with only one lane of traffic that can move through. Wow. Okay. Well, unless you want to go all the way That's down yeah. here. a long way down, yeah. As you get here, because we'll say you're on the... As you drive this way, you're sitting on this side of the, the pickup. Okay. As you pass Mount Wellington, you do see some movement on top. Although it's a bit far away, you can't tell what's going on. Did it look like shambling or like people? People. Okay. What's the um the Moyes car yard like? Moyes car yard? So um, some decent vehicles? Yeah. Um, uh, this, you can see like a lot of people have tried to get a lot of those cars out, but a few crashes around the entrance seem to have blocked the driveway up there. All right. Now you see those full of fuel as well. All right, so you drive down. So you go aiming for the motorway. As you get here, you go up. I'm guessing, um, as far as I know, this is Great South. I think it is, yeah. Yeah. You can get, a, you get like, when, once you get around here, you get a, a fair view of One Tree Hill. And you can see a tied to the obelisk on there is a flag. You can't quite tell what's on the flag, but it's, you can see it's, it's, it's a dark color, but the wind's not blowing that, um, that well over there. So you're not sure exactly what the flag is. 
Uh, just to give some context to the audience of what One Tree Hill is, it's a, another extinct volcano, very much like uh, Pigeon Mountain, except this is much larger. This is at a much higher elevation. Um, it was called One Tree Hill because there used to just be one tree on it. That got cut down. There are currently no trees on it, but it's still, it's still, still called One Tree Hill, and it's got a great big obelisk at the top of it, which you can see from quite a distance away, especially uh, when the sun's hitting part of it. It can reflect quite far across mm -hmm. all of Auckland. And it can shoot a laser. It cannot shoot a laser. <laughs> not that's not yes. that's what they want you to know. Yeah. We want you to think. Right. As you come up Great South, around this area, as you, if you've, you've, I mean, I presume you've driven around along here, you know uh, this is a good turn off. Where are you? Where are we? Where am I? There, on Great the South. Have we gone as... There's like, there's a turn off here, and you know there's a big green lane turn off. It's a green lane one. Um, well, there's a gun store on that road. There is a gun there store. Is way down there. If you, yeah. No, if you come here, there's the gun store. Really? No, no, yeah, there's that one there. Yeah, because there is. There's, because oh, I know there's, because there's PB Tech. Yeah, yeah, the one, yeah, there's, yeah. there's one there, and then there's oh, one right. further up. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah. Along, a little basically along there somewhere on the yeah. right-hand side. Do you mention this to... I don't mention it, but I'm looking for it. Um, I can't remember the gun store around there. I know the one down there. It's like Gun here. City or something. Yeah. Because um, they both used to be down there, but yeah. then Gun City moved Moves up. up. Yeah. I have no idea exactly where it is, but um, if, if, if it's on the, on the street side, it's like it's on the street, not on one of these like complexes down like further in. No, yeah, it's on the street side, yeah. yeah. Then you can see it. Um, What's it look like? Uh, glasses, like if, if, it's, if it's got any glass fronts, they've been broken, the door's broken down. Um, you can't, I point to it anyway, I go, I go Gun Store. Oh, yeah. He looks at you and goes, been there, done that. Thank you. I like how you're just like, hey, gun store. What? Why did you thank him? I didn't. You didn't thank him. Thank you. No, I didn't thank Oh, okay, my ears aren't working. <laughs> <laughs> you failed your perception check I again. I failed my perception Well, I don't think you'll be able to hear him even on the natural one, so. Yeah, but far away. Yeah, I mean, he's all the way here, you're all the way back you're in Pigeon Mountain. Yeah. Okay, as you come up here, you know there's like a yeah, couple of turn but once you get to around here, we'll say just after the gun. After Gun City or the Gun Store, um, you have to slow down because Great Great South is a major arterial route, and there's a whole lot of cars you have to swerve past. But in the dead, of, <coughs> the dead silence of this city, you hear a cough. You hear a cough, a suspicious cough. That would be quite terrifying. It would be. So that more than that, T-Rex. Yeah, that's terrifying. In the silence of the morning. In the silence of the morning, you hear that. <laughs> you hear T-Rex coming, and the car. Like Stobbs dead. Like the Nazi looks at you and goes, "Where the fuck did that come from? Where did it come from? Can I hear a direction? Roll perception. Oh man, mm -hmm. first roll of the game. Yeah, yeah. no, eighty six. So no, it doesn't really matter. Maybe good too. It was to break his nose. Yeah, like fifty over. Yeah, no. Um, he goes off. Oh, no fucking clue. And the two guys in the cab get out and they both got their guns out. Um, I just am I there ready? Got the gun anyway. Yeah. And they're all just looking around nervously. The guy, like the Nazi next to you, like he, he's like stood up on a thing and just has a look around. Just roll just a another perception plus perception plus twenty. There hasn't there hasn't been any other noises since um, the initial nice. seven. Sorry, seven. Easy, easy. All right, I'll see. Seven. Seven. No, no, no. That's double O seven. License to kill. <laughs> License, License to, to die. Yeah. <laughs> You see from like, because you're about here, and you can see not a whole lot around this bend, but through the cars you see something moving at about yay height. Yay oh, lion God. height? <laughs> Perhaps, but you see it move Fasa. quite quickly. Dude, move straight, like and move straight towards you, and like the other guys yeah. see I it. I yelled, like, get back in the, you can't yeah. vehicle. They do, and they like, the, um, and the, you know, the car wasn't like turned off, but you know, it just slams into a reverse. And like anything, starts um, speeding sorry, away. Uh, at the the back of the U, well not the back, you know, the middle part between the cab and the and the tray. Is there anything to hold on to there? Um, it's got a bar up yeah, top. Yeah, I'm, I'm holding on. <laughs> yeah, same as the guy. Oh, like you're in the back. Yeah. Yeah, okay. because there's only a two. There's only a two seater, and the thing and like guns it sorry, into is, reverse. Is it, is it a low one or a high one? Like high one. one. Okay, sweetness. Yeah. Um, as it's yeah, I'm fucked. <laughs> as it go, as it like spins and like uh, goes in reverse and, and like spins around to drive, you now see behind you and through things it comes and it is Mufasa. an adult male African lion. Oh, oh it. it was a lion. It was. It was like a boar or some shit. No, that was no, a lion. A boar sound. 
because I know what lion sounds. I've seen the Lion King. Yeah. And you don't know what a lion sounds like. Yeah, it that sounds lion, like um, they, they killed off um, Tool Time. Oh, sorry, I'm having improvements. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it was. Tool Time. Yeah. You know. Right, right. Anyway. It's and it, it absolutely sprints towards oh, you. Oh, and like the car takes off, but once again, it's great sap, and it has to like angle between cars. So are, we, are we reversing, or do we turn around? Sorry. It, it turned around, yeah. so you've got a good full view behind right. you. At yeah. How, how, how is the interaction behind change? that? I'm going to be sitting down, looking at it, and, and holding on with my teeth. I don't know how to hold it on, having the gun. Yeah. Holding on, shitting yourself. Yeah, <laughs> sticky. Yeah. Yeah. One arm. Yeah. One well, arm what, that is what. No, that is that, that is I'm what. That is what the Nazi thing. He's got like one arm around the bar and top, and like just got his like the bull pup bull pup pointed out it. but as the lion properly spots you it just it uses any like that's the quickest way so it jumps on top of cars and everything so it can move around and over and everything cars oh, shit. well you well the the pickup you're on has to wind its way through so it quickly catches up um as the car tries to be and like everyone in there is yelling and screaming like oh shit 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 don't move does it look like an undead one yeah as it gets close enough to Much see, answer. Um, you do see that, well, A, it is compl- it's nearly completely red from it being, you presume, covered in uh, blood. That's a red yeah. lion, I see. Oh, oh, red on red from Yeah, shit. completely covered in blood. But you do, yeah. um, you do see the, that telltale um, black marks across his face and across his body. You can see, um, especially around one of his shoulders, which like the skin has been peeled back. Oh. You can see that 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 a spider webbing of black spreading through the flesh. You can see a whole lot of those uh, crusty pustules all around its eyes and its sacrificial Nazi. It's it's mouth. Sacrificial person in this group, I'm pretty sure. And as you see that, you know your right ear just starts ringing as the the Nazi nature just like fires off a three shot burst. And oops, where did the dice go? Completely misses. Um, oh, wow. With the shotgun, because hmm? I don't know guns at all, really. Mm-hmm. Um, is is it, it how easy is it to switch? Because double barrel, right? Yeah. So what I want to do is make sure that when I fire, I'm prepared to switch to the next one and try fire again straight away as fast as I can. Um, depends on the shotgun. Some yeah, have no two idea. triggers for each barrel. Yeah, some have just a got switch. a switch one. I have no idea. Well, uh, for just ease of use, we'll just say there's a switch. Okay, sweet. So I'm yeah, sort of yeah. ready for that, and it was. Actually, I don't really know the bullet, the shell in it, do I? Do we know we if don't know like if a, it's pellets or if it's a, yeah. like a, a well, slug. We fired it, though. Not, yeah, but you know. Nick, Nick fired it, I'm pretty sure. Well, it was pellets. out of yeah, character, yeah. it's pellets, yeah. so yeah. Yeah. it's more like birdshot. Yeah. Yeah. So, but in but. character, no one knows but Nick. Yeah. Oh. Why didn't you tell us, Nick? <laughs> yeah, so either, either way, I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm going to wait for it to get close before I try and shoot. All right. Whoa. You should stop rolling underneath the keyboard. Oh, shit. Um, <laughs> <laughs> at around... Like, at, yeah. So it's hungry for Nazis. When, like, you hear we came... We, we, we came up here. In, in haste, or just in sheer panic, the guy driving forgot to turn left and go up here. Okay. And he keeps going s- straight. And last minute, Patrick, he, he, you can see, like... You can feel that, oh, he just remembered as he just jerks that car to the left. And it goes onto, onto, two, we- onto like two wheels on your side as it tries to make that. It goes through the... Like the it's uh, a that's petrol a, station. Yeah. Okay, cool. It goes through like the courtyard <laughs> yeah. of that petrol station before it like flips back on two wheels, go onto the other two wheels to make this corner here. But it loses so much speed as you're, you and the Nadja are, are, are like just thrown around on the, on the back. And by the time it hits four wheels again, that line is as... As close to the back of that ute as Chloe is to Rykov. I shoot. Holy no, shit. I shoot. <laughs> You're very lucky you didn't have to do an athletics check going around that corner, son. Yeah. yeah. Not sure. giving you any ideas. No, 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 no. I'm not no, doing no. that. <laughs> right. Roll shoot. Oh, My boy. shitty shoot. Just be good. Okay, are you sure? You want to fire? Hey, look at that. That's pretty good. Do I get any um bonuses? Oh, yeah. No. For being oh, so close? Maybe not then. And... Oh, four over. Do you yeah. want to spend a sigil to re-roll? Yeah. You got, you got yeah. How many yeah. have you got? I got three. Oh. Yes. You can spend one to re-roll, and if you want, you can spend another one to get a plus twenty-five bonus. I'm just thinking that. Yeah, fuck it. Yeah, I'll do that. All right. Okay. So plus twenty-five to your stat. No, nah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> oh no! 
son! Okay. Alright, you flip back down to four wheels, you see the line right in your face and you try to let off a shot. And it he just goes completely wide. You just squeak at the line. Yeah. The, the, like, the Nazi tries to get, like, not onto his feet, but at least onto his, like, one leg, one knee, and tries to have a go as well, but it just goes right over the lion's head. Anything you want to specifically do? Ooh. Shoot. Other than shoot, you want, like, <laughs> hold on to something, oh, or... Yeah. Start yelling that's... out, shoot her, shoot her! <laughs> yeah. Except to him, but hey, it still works. Mm. What is that from? Uh, Jurassic Park. Oh, right, okay. And just, just add it to, like, while the car is moving. We're on point today. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Kill it with puns. <laughs> <laughs> you just need your your lamp. <laughs> oh, yeah, that'd be good, wouldn't it? Lights um, up. Stop lying around. Right. So we're both just failing out. Shots, right? Oh yeah, you completely miss as the car is because and and you're the thing that car is swerving in and out of um traffic of stationary traffic trying to. F- uh, winds way down. The, the, yeah, and, and so you are probably when it jerks back, and you, as you fire, yeah. it's, it, you probably get jerked. Yeah, as well. yeah. So it's, it's a number of things that come. Yeah, I, I'm it. gonna I'm gonna hold on and aim the gun, and right. I'm gonna really wait for my shot. All right, so you aim, so they'll give every you every other shot. We right, so what's your shoot. what is your shoot skill? Thirty two, something like that. Thirty. Yeah, 32. It's also right. proximity as well. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, the, the, if it gets yeah. super close, yeah. yeah. So, you get, um, but on the other hand, that is mitigated by the fact that that car is jerking. Oh, around. yeah, yeah. So, you'll get a plus 16, half your shoot skill to your next one for aiming. Um, let it get in the bit of yeah. the truck. As it comes around this corner here, it once again slows down to avoid um, the, the cars, and the line is, it could bite off the bumper. So, if, if you want to shoot now, go for gold. Yeah. And I'll, because it's because it is this close, I will give you an extra ten. So plus twenty six to your shot. Plus twenty six. Yeah. yeah. So lots over. Right. How sorry. Much? Um, no. Sorry. I'm under. So was it plus twenty five? Plus twenty six. Plus twenty six to that. Was it fifty eight? Fifty eight. Yeah. You rolled, rolled forty six. So. Forty six. Fifty eight. So that's twelve. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. So your second shot fires, and what's what was what did you roll again? So that's going to be... 46, so that is the... It's, so you shoot and you can just see uh, um, some of that pellets just go straight through its right front leg. But it doesn't stop it very much. We're shit with guns. Yeah. We? All right, well, I, you say you are, that Nazi reload. is worse. He, he, he fires again and you hear one, two, click. Oh my god. And it both misses and he looks down and like... He, like you can see, he just frantically like opens up that duffel bag with like one hand and tries like rummaging inside What's for in something. There? For something, it'll take a few seconds. No, I, I reload then. I'm sorry, reloading. Okay, as My you reload, shot. the line jumps onto the back. <gasps> How of fast that. we go? <laughs> you're going at now as as you're trying to go as fast as you can, but like it's swerving and swerving. So you're so going so about a good fifty k. Oh, By right. now, you're about here, right. trying sure. to hit that stretch. Shove the gun in its mouth, Jake. I can't reload. miss there. I need to reload. Yeah, to no point with our bullets. Oh, you have two shots. Yeah, do we have like a um, <laughs> oxygen tank? I'm thinking drawers, you know? <laughs> you still need to shoot it, but yeah. 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 So it's got, so its front legs are down onto the back of, of the thing, but its hind legs, like one hind leg's hanging off the back and one is actually like on top of the raised, like, God. thingy that holds. I, I'm not a car person. You know the thing like you flip up the back end of the. No, no, you mean, I know what it's called, but yeah. No. The, oh, the, the flippy truck bit. <laughs> the flippy truck bit. <laughs> the flippy truck bit. Yeah, 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 yeah that I'm one. I'm a mechanic, I know these things. <laughs> yeah. A the trailer device. door. Yeah, yeah the little dory thingy of the trailery thing. <laughs> <laughs> if you put E on the end of it, it's accurate. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. It's, so it's on there, and now you can properly see that, yeah, it is, an un, it is an undead line. If you didn't need that confirmation already. This would be cool if it wasn't terrifying. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Trying to reload. <laughs> All right, so you go for Shitting myself. All right, roll luck. No oh, man. Plus, oh. oh, roll luck plus twenty. Oh, don't drop the shells. That's What's good. your luck, Jay? Pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. So luck plus twenty is forty-nine, and I rolled twenty-three. Fantastic. Um, it takes one look at the closest person towards it, which happens to be like the Nazi, oh. and goes. Get in there, son. It just goes and just—it's you can see that more open up, the, and 
it's missing some teeth, but what you can also see is that black streaks all through its tongue. You can see like uh, around its gums, actually it's completely crusted over with boils and pustules and it's there's more yellowy fluid in its mouth than like saliva even. And it just clamps both of those on onto the Nazi's head as he's like on over and, you, and he's just starts screaming and you just hear crunch. Yeah, Doing that, but I've reloaded by then, shotgun right on the head, and boom. Okay, right on the head. Does he have to roll for that? No, but I'm just. <laughs> but as a, no, I'm just going to make a roll for that. You sh as as you shoot in the car jerks, you do get a, like a shot straight like through its head, but it's the front. You see like the front part of it, and it's like the the whole f its whole face snout and the Nazi's head just disappears. And you can just see no eyes, no nothing, but just this. Well, this like, this, like half face, like this, its whole front of its face is gone. You can like see bits of brain sticking out. Oof. You can see like blood spurting, uh, uh, spurting from it. If it hasn't fallen down or anything, I'm. I don't have a knife on me or anything, do I? So. Well. Do I have you? No. Well, no. That's the thing is like I know that some of us did. I can't remember whether or not you had one with you. I always carried a small knife with me, but we did have but those the, things taken off us. us. What, what are they asking they, us to drop? Because I know they ask you to drop everything. Yeah, we, we handed over. Yeah, yeah, so then I'm just yeah. going to hit it in the brain with the gun, I guess. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Touch it. That's how we just roll um, roll a fight or might your your because it is just a either fight or might your Fucking might plus twenty to your roll. So that is 71 and I rolled 35. All right, you hit and Ed, oh. you can see Ed just like collapses on uh, uh, like to its side. It's still jerking, oh. but it's, it's it, it seems well entirely uncoordinated. You can see one leg move and like try and like hit the closest thing, but if you, you've got more enough space to like sit in a corner and it, like it doesn't like get closer. As soon as it, like it touches a bit of like the the Nazi. It, you could, it just like starts tearing into that bit Ooh. it's got uh, nearby it. Um, and he's no, like, oh, the Nazi's not making any more noise, is he? Well, no, his head was inside the thing's mouth, which yeah. was shot, shot off. off as so well. you, killed you killed the Nazi as you killed the, as you oh, sort no. of killed the lion. So does that count as two? I'm trying to figure out. Was the Nazi dead? Because I want to get your tally right. Was the Nazi dead when it crunched his head? Or was it? Was he it was alive? dying. So did Jake he, he kill climbed, him? Climbed, yes. Okay. Another. That's another two to your tally. You know, You're pretty far along now, mate. One is a lion. Well, I can already yeah. already know he's going to come back to us, and the first thing he's going to say is, "I killed, I killed Mufasa." I always said I wanted to fight a lion. <laughs> <laughs> right, and as it drives back, you can you see a little window at the back of the cab open, and like the guy just says, "Get out of the fucking way!" Get out of the fucking and he, way. you can see he just unloads an entire like revolver's clip into the what what's left of the thing's head, and eventually it it collapses. So, is the vehicle stopped? No, they, the vehicle just keeps going. Uh, are there any dead around us? Um, uh, there are a lot with all the sound you've making. You can see like the entire area is like crawling with them now. Do we have like a minute? Uh, you, you don't have a minute. You have, how, what do you want to do? Well, what I want to do is stop and drag the line off. Well, obviously with the hell, because lines are heavy. Well, you just can ask them. Just off. Lines are heavy. <laughs> yeah, we can ask them if you want. Oh, I don't want to ask if yeah. I don't believe we have the time. Uh, no, because like as soon, when, once you get to like a major site like this, you can and open airs. You can see now the few precious few actual, you know, the the, the plate, the living infected, start running now as well. All right, um, and like they, they just say, I grab the duffel bag and the other gun and try and equip myself a bit better. Yeah, that's the both of them are completely covered by um, blind goo. Um, but yeah, you, you like you, you can like scrounge around in there for something. And as you come back, past... What's the something? <laughs> huh? What's the something? I'd like to know what I have. Right now I have a yep. shotgun with no ammo. Don't worry, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you. You've got the bullpup covered in blood, pus, and um, blood. Covered, yeah, hang on, covered in line, blood, and line, pus. And if you open, you can see there's like a whole lot of like there's, there's machetes, there's knives, there's uh, like there's a toolbox in there, a few uh, spare magazines, all, once again, covered by the Nazis' blood, the lion's blood, the lion's pus, um, but you can like you know put in yeah. a fresh magazine. And as you get, and also I want to put a magazine in my because I'm not wearing I'm wearing the hoodie with the yeah. So fucking, I'll put magazines where I can. Yeah, just not on my teeth. I'm not gonna. <laughs> and once you come past here, you once again see movement on top, 
and a glint of light as you move past. Does the bullpup have a um, scope on it? Bastards. And then you're back in here. Were there, were there, were there, there were no binoculars or anything in the Not bag? Not no. Bastards. And once you get across, one of the, the guys inside just looks back and just says, no more gunshots. And then they, you drive all the way back. Hold on, as we're going back then, I'm going to put my head through the window and go, what did we go out for? I asked them, what did we go out for? To have a look. And this, and we had a look, what like the guy's not driving says to you. Alright, so am I, is Eddie's not expecting us to come back with shit? There's two empty double bags here, aren't there? That's so if we found shit, but I'm not going where there's fucking lions around, man. Are you? Do you, you want to you face on one, another one of these? I'm just trying to think how many lions the Orkin Zoo has. <laughs> Can't be that many. <laughs> I know. Yeah, I think it's three. Yeah. <laughs> but it's not just one. Well, that's the problem. Um, was it a male lion or a female lion? I think it's a male lion. Male. Yeah, male. Oh, so. it's one. That, that wasn't even a very um, hard lion, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> that was an easy mode lion. Yeah, that was an easy mode lion. <laughs> Wait till we get to the infected runner. Yep. Um, so, I, I'm assuming that the, we go past, like, the petrol station is empty. They've got all the fuel from out there. Do you ask them? Or? Yeah, I'm asking them. Like, he oh, says we've we taken... Ask, ask them, yeah. I guess, mm. yeah. The LPG tanks at the, at the service station, which would be a whole rack there. We'll if put, they yeah. get them. The guy just says, we've taken everything around Holland Park area, and I'm fucking, I'd rather talk to Eddie about this shit first. I asked for a bottle of water. <laughs> no, he, he just goes. What you what you what you find in that duffel bag? What we got, mate? Jeez. Right. Eventually, however, you do find your way back here, and as you come in, you do see a whole lot of movement of people carrying branches and trees and things across the road, and you do see Nick, and Nick does see you, and Nick, you do see something giant and goldy, goldeny, bloody, on the back of the. Uh, as we drive in, I'm gonna put my stand on it, like. <laughs> <laughs> fucking hell. Oh, right, yeah, I mean, freaking own it. <laughs> and you do draw a bit of a commotion as, as you pull in. Jeez, you're fin- yeah, yeah, yeah. So that, that, I've got a gun like this, one foot on the line, just. Okay, yes. please make him do a black roll to see if he falls over. No, uh, no, he, 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 he's, he's wander right to that. And as you, <laughs> as you get in, um, it's, does, it doesn't take long for word to spread to everyone else, other than, uh, um, me, who's then Triton, who's still out, people. about what, like that, that something had happened. You and you know, so you can quickly, you can find Sorry, your way to him. However, completely, <laughs> yeah, that will wait for next time. Oh. What a fucking Whoa. opening episode! <laughs> so, this has been our first day on the rock, and it seems that we have our place in this new world. It seems that Jake is fitting in pretty well so far. I've made a new friend. <laughs> yeah, so Scott has a new friend out rat catching. I'm assuming, is that actually catching rats? Is that, or is that a euphemism? Uh, it may be. That's, we'll get that first thing next time okay. as, we, as we go right. into the next week. Yes, because in the next episode, we will be advancing time somewhat. We are in a position now where we don't have control over ourselves. But there does seem to be some kind of safety in this place, albeit, well, it's not the nicest place in the world, but the world isn't a very nice place now. It's going to be interesting to see how much of, uh, I guess, our own morals can survive this place, because it's a pretty dark corner of the world. But at least for now, we sleep somewhat soundly, if not with probably some pretty heavy thoughts weighing on us. And uh, I think we're going to be happy to see that Jake has actually returned. Not just because it's our friend back, but because with these new tattoos, every one of us is responsible for the other now. And even more. Actually, that's yeah, true. That he, well, one. we don't know whether or not he has a tattoo. I'm, I, I'm I guess I'm assuming he would. <laughs> yeah, you were Jake the freaking lion killer. <laughs> which ain't bad. But yeah, that's going to wrap us up for the first one. So do join us in the next where we will be advancing time somewhat. And hopefully I'll be able to keep track as the uh, date keeper. But guys and gals, we will see you then.